Welcome back to another clean with me today. I figured I would just do my Sunday clean I kind of have stuff everywhere. It's really like not done up I've only done one other of these videos, but I'm usually not done up when I clean the house But this morning I really wanted to just do my makeup and just I used the Kylie birthday 2018 palette and I did like a really pretty light pink look so you guys will see me with my beats and just kind of going through everything. Most of it's going to be a voiceover, but it's going to be kind of a little bit of an extreme clean with me. And I'm excited. I really like doing these videos. And if you guys do like them, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Share this video with a friend who might find it interesting. And let's get to cleaning this house because it needs it. It definitely okay, needs it. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to take 10 seconds to show you guys what was for dinner the other day because I'm not going to be cooking today. So this is the Jack Daniels pulled pork sandwich. You put it in the oven. We put it in for 30 minutes because we did a double serving. And look how good that is. We get it right at Target. So I wanted to show you guys how perfect these sandwiches are for a quick meal. Okay, so starting off this clean with me, you'll see me undoing the dishwasher, emptying it, and then you'll also see me start some dishes. I kind of didn't have a ton of dishes actually in there, but you know, you see my little dog helping me out. She is very helpful during this video. You'll probably see her make an appearance more often than not. Next, you'll see me. I am just going to do a couple of dishes that are in my sink, get it done and over with. I want this kitchen perfectly clean, just nothing anywhere. And then you'll see me just kind of taking everything off of that counter to really clean and sanitize it. I feel like that Keurig is still leaking, so if anybody has any ideas, please leave them down below. I don't know why it leaks like that. Actually, all of my Keurigs have leaked like that, so could be user error. I mean, I'm not the best coffee maker, and I was a working in a coffee shop at one point in my teenage life, so I have no no excuses. Next, I am going to clean up that stove. Again, that stove shows everything, so you'll probably see me cleaning it a ton in every clean with me, and my dogs are behind me playing, so if you hear that, that's them. All right, there I'm cleaning off the little spinner in the microwave. I know it has probably a technical name, but I don't know what it is. So I had to clean that. My microwave is a little bit dirty, but now it's clean. We're happy, it looks good. So mission accomplished, one of the things on the to-do list. And then I'm also just cleaning off that larger part of the countertop. I feel like it's just something that needs to be done a couple times a day, especially after making meals, because the counters just get so dirty and it's just the weird, I don't know why they get so dirty. Then I'm picking up some shoes and then sanitizing that kitchen kitchen table just really getting everything clean using Lysol for almost everything I feel like I know there's a lot of people that won't agree with that but I like to use kind of stronger cleaning products just my opinion and then this is my dining room I didn't show it to you guys in the beginning but I am actually taking everything off of this little coffee table thing that my husband stained and made it not stained but he painted it white I also found better places for some commemorative wine bottles like things from our wedding I just wanted to find find a better place for it not there because everything looks so cluttered to be honest okay next you'll see me folding a bunch of blankets does anybody else have this many blankets in their living room I'm asking for a friend <laughs> not really but I mean I feel like I have an excessive amount of blankets but then again I feel like we always use all the blankets so it's weird so then I'm just cleaning off the glass tables everything gets so dusty Next, I was just finishing off the end table and then I start to clean on the front window in a second because my dogs bark out of that window and if any of your dogs bark out the window, it gets a little bit dirty. Okay, next you see me taking all the rugs in my kitchen and really shaking them out and throwing them down the basement stairs. I've been thinking about actually washing these in the washer for like a week now, but I haven't had the energy to do it. So big day for me, finally doing these things. And then I'm just wiping down the windowsill and the radiator, and then I'm beginning vacuuming. You don't see me do the stairs or the upstairs or anything like that, but I vacuumed every inch of this house today, and I took the smaller end of my vacuum, and I really got into like the smaller areas, and I love that little end. Okay, next I'm taking my shark steam mop. I feel like it's so important, especially now, to really steam our floors, mop our floors, disinfect our floors, important. <laughs> and then I'm starting on my bathroom, just really wiping down the mirror. 
and then I'm really just making sure that everything's super sanitary and then I see a spot on the wall so I start washing that down and then I start cleaning my shower but you don't see that but you'll see some of the soap on the door right there and I'm trying to get into those little areas I wasn't very successful with my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser so I used some bleach I know I know but it was it was tough to clean that area for some reason Okay, you guys, quick halfway check-in. I just cleaned my shower. You probably saw me on my hands and knees with bleach trying to scrub off all that stuff. Now I'm upstairs cleaning the upstairs like shower bathtub. I actually have never taken a shower in the shower, which is so weird to say, but I don't know if any of you guys have that. We've only lived here for like almost four years, which is actually a really long time to not dry out all the showers, but I have taken a bath in here. So it's like more of a really nice bathtub. So I'm gonna clean this, clean the toilet, clean the mirrors, clean the sinks in here. I have like just so much to do. Then I also have to like dust down the bathroom and I just wanted to check in with you guys halfway. After cleaning my downstairs shower, like I don't know if you guys ever get into the shower, but like you're closing the door and you're like trying to clean like the inside of the doors and everything and you're in your clothes and it's just like so hot. Yeah, I have a full face of makeup on right now. My hair is frizzy. Like it's just, a, it we're a hot mess right now. So we are going to start cleaning this bathroom, clean out the windowsills, everything, dust the bedroom, make the bed, and then I and then we have to organize the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> we'll see if we get there today. I was supposed to do it last week too, but I just wanted to tell you guys, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be like a weekly thing. So get ready for it. So I'm just changing the music or the podcast that I'm listening to. And I don't know how you guys clean, but that's what helps me get through. Here, I'm just cleaning my bathtub with some Comet and the toilet and just like the little window sills, really dusting everything in here. I feel like those are the little things that go a long way. And then I am making my bed, making sure that everything's like really tucked in. I just washed my sheets yesterday, so they're nice and clean. And I just, just am tucking everything in, making sure it's perfect. Perfect. Next, you guys will see me starting on two projects I've been thinking about for a while, which are reorganizing two of my cabinets, one of which was the Tupperware cabinet. I'll show you guys the end result. I'm pretty impressed with it. I was able to find all the lids and the, right here, I'm looking for all the lids and the matching Tupperware. I was able to group them together and then throw away anything that didn't match. So it looked perfect. And then I do the same for this area. You guys saw this in the beginning of the video. This is where we keep all of our pots and pans. So embarrassing. I can't believe I'm showing you this, guys. But you know what? We got to be honest here. We got to show what some of our cabinets look like. And that's what mine looked like. So I took a lot of time to really reorganize that. And this was the final product. I mean, is it that impressive? Probably not. It did take me a very long time. And it will do for now. It will do for now. But I was happy to get that more organized, more livable, more manageable. And those were two things that were hanging over my head for so long and I didn't want to do them But I'm honestly so happy. I did all right you guys we made it through I think it's close to five o'clock But my phone is charging in the other room because it was on five percent when I looked at it a couple things that I do to keep me motivated while I'm cleaning because I was just cleaning for um, I want to say it's five o'clock. I started between 12 and one. So between four and a half and five hours. So what keeps me motivated during that time is honestly thinking about all the things I want to do and how much I'll feel better when they're done. Also, just knowing that like there's no better feeling than a clean house. So that's like a huge thing for me. Um, and just kind of keeping my eye on the prize and knowing that it has to get done either way. I still have a ton of laundry to do. I still have to throw all of those little mats that you guys saw me. All of my, you know, what are they called? Carpets. I have, I, I'm so exhausted from all of that that I'm like losing my words. All of those mats and those carpets that I have in my kitchen, all of those have to go in the washer and I have my husband's laundry in the washer so I have to go deal with that and then there's a whole basket of clothes that I still have to fold and then there's stuff in the dryer that I still have to fold as well so <laughs> my work is far from over but I figured this would be a cute little clean with me and I want to do these every Sunday just because I enjoy them I feel like I do a really good job when I do these videos and it's just a change of pace for me from talking about beauty and makeup and to be honest during these times 
times I think cleaning is a huge important thing to do I know is keeping busy and sometimes just cleaning your house can be a really great stress reliever and make you feel a lot better I hope that you guys you know hopefully took a little motivation from this this isn't to make anybody feel bad if you don't have motivation or anything like that it's just to share some of mine and I like watching these I find them really like relaxing I love to watch other people clean with me and I love to learn how other people clean their houses believe it or not I'm kind of nosy like that like I want to see what products you're using I want to see how you clean certain areas of your house I just think that we all can learn something from one another so I'm gonna hope to upload and do these on Sundays but I also it just depends on what days my husband works because it's just easier when he's out of the house to definitely clean and everything I'm going to edit this get this up for you guys do a load of laundry and that's pretty much it if you guys do like these videos though I still have my little hair clip in look at love if you guys do like these videos though be sure to please give it a thumbs up so that I know comment down below share this video with a friend who might find it interesting and I'm just still in shock that I was able to tackle my Tupperware cupboard my like area with all the wine and alcohol in the dining room my other cupboard like I feel like I just got so much organized and cleaned and I feel like it just it's like a huge weight off my shoulders because last little ramble that I'll even say is that during this quarantine I feel like we all have a to-do list like what would you do if somebody said literally you can't leave your house for a month and a half and I think a lot of us hold a lot of guilt for not getting certain things done in a timely manner and it's taken me like a month and a half to get all the areas organized and clean that I wanted to get done and I've really had to like tell myself get this done because you are not going to ever not be able to go to brunch or coffee with your friends on Sunday again like this is this is that time to do something like this I've cleaned all of like my clothes closet I have like bags of clothes I have to donate so just do something for yourself because even if you don't have the energy or the motivation you will feel better after and it won't be weighing on you it won't be an anxiety that you have that you didn't use this time wisely do something for yourself today do something for your house this is the time that you spend all your time at home so you want to make it a clean happy place to be light a candle do whatever you need to do cook a good meal i mean just make your house a place that you want to be and more tolerable during these times thank you guys so much for watching sure to like comment subscribe, check out my Instagram, and I will see you guys all soon again in my next video. Mm -hmm.